Hello Virgo and welcome to your mid-May to mid-June 2023 monthly reading. Virgo, this is a general reading and it will not resonate with all of you. So please take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. Feel free to check your other sign placements to see if there's any more clarity or guidance in those readings for you. Virgo, if you're new to my channel, my name is Rudy. I thank you all for being here. If you are returning, welcome back. Hello and thank you again for coming back. I would also like to, to take a quick minute to take to thank all the new subscribers that are absolutely brand new. Thank you all for being here. Again, this is a small channel comparison to a lot of them. So I thank you for helping me grow. And uh, I really appreciate you all being here. So thank you for being here. Virgo, we are starting out mid-May with the Magician and the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful cards of manifestation. Beautiful cards of knowing you are enough. You have it all. Not meaning you have it all, but you have it all inside of you. You know how to uh, use your resources to manifest what you're wanting. And this is a card of manifesting um, a legacy. You You want to have enough to share, have enough to leave behind, have enough to have for your kids, your kids' kids, your kids' kids' kids. You may be looking into um, like savings or mutual funds or something like that, how to invest your money, how to make it grow, but you are taking charge of this. You are working on this to have financial security is what I feel with a magician. <clears throat> You have an offer coming in. It could be it could be a love offer. It could be somebody that's interested in you. It could be somebody that is making you an offer of uh, it's almost like peace or maybe somebody's making you a peace offering. Maybe somebody's coming in trying to um, trying to say they're sorry. Maybe that, that's the case. Uh, could be a partner. Um, I don't know. It, 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 it can be an offer of love coming in, or it could be somebody making an offer, again, of peace, trying to make peace, trying to say they're sorry, trying to give you something. Um, that is very, it's a very kind gesture with this Knight of Cups energy. Uh, but they're not... It's like somebody may be owning up to something also. They're taking action on something. You also have the Page of Pentacles coming in. You could talk about, it could be talking about a child. It could be talking about uh, maybe the whole reason you're doing this is because maybe there's a child on the way or maybe there's a pregnancy in the family or uh, it could be a child, you know, you're having a child or your partner's having a child or your grandchildren or great-grands or something like that. Um but there could be a message also coming in about finances or about money. It could be maybe that if you, whatever you're waiting to hear, whatever you're manifesting here with the money, whatever you're manifesting here with the long-term um, finances, you could be getting a message about it. You could be uh, like a mutual fund coming through or a new way to invest money even coming through. You could have a new idea of how to even make money possibly with the with the Page of Pentacles. Having that um, potential. Seeing a potential of a situation also. Taking action on it. Taking, or at least, uh, at least thinking about it. Something new to think about, possibly. Your health is a Page of Swords, and that is something you're taking action on. You could have a new something that has popped up or cropped up and you are, you're taking action on it. Like if there's a, you know, maybe a mole or a spot that you don't think is normal and you're going to go get it checked out, kind of that kind of energy, uh, could be something that has just, you know, cropped up and, and you just want to make sure everything's okay. So you're going to take action on a situation that, that just came in, um, you are communicating, you, you know, you're not waiting around. It's just something you, you're going to make sure everything's all right on, I feel. Um, and I feel everything's all right, but you are, you're going to make sure everything's all right. 
your career is the fool. And I feel like you're taking a leap of faith. You could be getting a new job or a new position. It could be where the magician comes in. Maybe you're putting all your eggs in a basket. Or maybe you're taking your retirement or taking money you've earned or something and doing something new with it. Um, you could still have your job and doing something new. A new adventure. Something new to you. I feel whatever it is, you know, people might think you're crazy. Like, I can't believe they walked away from an X amount paying job to do this. But it's something I think you've wanted to do or some change that you've wanted to make. Some Something you wanted to implement. That could be where the page comes in. You know, that newness, that new beginning, that new, um, that new potential, right? Your finances are the moon card and <clears throat> that fell. Um, I just feel with this card in finances, make sure that you're on your same page with maybe your accountant or the bank or whatever your investors or whatever it is there could be something hidden there could be some hidden fees there could be something hidden that you don't see or that you're not aware of so make sure you ask all the questions make sure you turn over all the stones make sure there is nothing that they're keeping from you um because there's something it, something hidden can be revealed um and also, it could be, you could figure out maybe if you had an inheritance, if this, just say this is an inheritance that came in, maybe figuring out what to do with it. Also, it was a moon card. Figuring out what path to, to, to go on. And, you know, that could happen too. You could have came into some money and it could afford you to start a new job or start a job or start, you know, be your own boss or something like that even. Or start a company. Buy a company. Your love life is the Ten of Swords. So we have, if you're single, um, I feel like you just think right now is not the good time to, to try to date or be with anybody. Excuse me, I feel like you have enough on your plate and you just can't add another thing to it. If you're in a relationship, I feel like it's probably a relationship that needs to have some conversations. Because I feel like it's more of a burden to you than it is... Um, Something that is uh, lucrative for you. I feel like it's a struggle. The Ten of Swords can also be where you all, if you're in a relationship, it's been a really hard road ahead, but it's almost over. Maybe you, you both are going to uh, finish, you know, your degrees or whatever and you both like you never see each other and you're both really working through everything and you're both you're both doing it it's not just you maybe it's really been hard but it's a tens the end of a cycle so it can get better you may see the light at the end of the tunnel you are almost home so you know if you're in a relationship and things are really hard and you're really struggling give it some time give it a little bit of time because you know there is an ending coming and um Maybe it will be then that if you decide if you stay or if you go uh, on that. Subconsciously, uh, I just feel like it ties really well into with this card. Um, you feel like there's a new path for you. And I feel that whatever, whatever this is, whatever burdens you're carrying, that you're not carrying it. You're going to carry yours and you're going to walk on. You might have to leave something you love. You might have to... Um, walk away from something you really care about but you have it's almost like you have to do this on your own you have to do this for you we have two eclipse energies here so i don't know if it had anything to do with the last eclipse we had where this shifted and this changed or if we have another eclipse coming in you'll have to let me know but i just feel subconsciously i feel like this isn't anybody you told you haven't told anybody this but there is movement here that you need to you need to do this on your own. You need to move ahead. I feel to a relationship if it's not like you all are um, you know both finishing school or whatever that the whole relationship is a burden and the whole relationship just weighs on you constantly is what I feel. 
Uh, we have Eva's, which is physical movement. So it goes really well with a lot of the reading. Physical movement, uh, new dwellings, physical shift, gradual development and progress, swift change and safe travels. So you have a lot of travels. You have new, um, new progress coming in, right? New progress coming in. New dwellings, walking away from something. Swift change, safe travels. Yeah. You'll have to let me know. You will have to let me know how that plays out. Very interesting. All right. Let us see what your challenge will be. What is the challenge for Virgo? For mid-May to mid-June, please. What will Virgo's challenge be? Oof, we have I, envy and protection. Um, I just see this card as be careful. Um, if there's money involved, if there's some type of finances that have come through, people can be jealous. Um, I also feel that if there is a person coming in that's offering love or wanting to be with you or saying they're sorry and they want to come back and you don't want them back, that they can get very jealous or envious or um, they can cause trouble. So be careful with that also. Be careful how you talk to people and be careful how you deal with people and who you tell things to is what I feel for a go. What is your, um, opportunity? What is Virgo's opportunity for mid-May? What is Virgo's opportunity? Ooh, here we go. Moose. Acceptance and eccentric. <laughs> um, aside from being careful, this card saying, be you, don't care. Love yourself for who you are and be as out there and, you know, be you. You be you. Don't care what other people think, but just be careful. Um, there's one thing of not caring and there's another thing of hurting somebody or making somebody mad or, uh, you know, being a jerk. You don't want to be a jerk. So, uh, accept people for their face value and then you be you. All right, let's pull an animal spirit card for you guys. Virgo. Here we go, Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. Again, that is, it goes really well with the eccentric. You be you, you know, you be you. You be you. Be yourself. Believe in yourself. Beautiful card. Um, let's see. You have accumulated wisdom and experience and are surrounded by all you need an abundance of resources is available to you through the generosity of spirit and all your hard work squirrel spirit shows up when you need reminding that the acorns you have gathered and stowed away have enormous potential to grow <laughs> those are your acorns that ten of ten of pentacles is your acorns so relax into knowing there is always enough and you have what it takes to co-create the reality you want to experience the magician card through diligent preparation, you have gained wisdom and strength. How much potential you have. Believe in yourself, for spirit believes in you and wants you to know you have enough and are enough. Doesn't that truth make you feel safe and secure? It should, for you have everything you need right now. Beautiful. What a beautiful card. And you do. And that's what it's all saying. That's the Magician and the Ten of Pentacles.
All right, let's get your message from Spirit. Intuitive nudges. Intuition is the language of the soul. We are all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess, which keeps us connected to our higher selves, the universe, and to our divine spirit. Again, trust in yourself. Know you're, you're enough. Believe in yourself. You have all the cards and look at, you know, all these cards are different colors, right? They're all different colors and these two match. I just think that's so crazy. So believe in yourself, trust in your instincts. Everything's working out for the greater good and for you to be yourself. All right, Virgo, thank you for watching. Take care of yourself and each other. Stay safe, be blessed, and know I put readings out the first of the month for love. If you're interested, hit the subscription and notification buttons, and you won't miss any readings I post. Take care of yourselves and each other. Stay safe, be blessed, and until next time, Virgo, good luck to you all. Let me know how this resonates. Give me a thumbs up if you don't want to type anything. I appreciate any feedback you can get. If you know any other Virgos it sounds like, please feel free to share. Again, thank you so much for being here, and I will see you next month. Bye for now.